So, there is a new trailer um, for the Overwatch 2 seasonal event that just went live a few minutes ago for the Halloween event. I love that emote. That is that is one of the best emotes in the whole game. New co-op mission? I have plans for you. Wait, what was that? Hold on, what was that? Why does this look like the normal Junkenstein event? Are, they could be just hiding it because they don't want to like spoil it, but this looks like normal Junkenstein. Nope. I have plans for you. Sick. Stick with me, and fortune will follow. Really should have been a flash warning on this. Frightful. Wait. What? Don't be scared. Did someone call for a witch? Try not to get yourselves killed out there. Happy Halloween. <laughs> So sad it's a bundle. I wanted to earn the Kitty Co skin somehow. Uh, listen, I, I hear you, but there was no shot. When you saw that skin, their their eyes probably lit up cartoon style with money bags. Just a cha ching. There is no shot they were giving that thing away for free. Um, but there is one thing that's very interesting. Um, this is. Is this the same witch skin? It looks slightly different. I I think this doesn't look the same. No? Where is her highlight? Where's her highlight? Oh no, it is the same one. It is the same one. Okay. It just it glows. Okay, that makes more sense. Something about this this screen capture makes me feel some type of way, but anyways. Um is it just me or is there only two new skins in there? Now they could just not be showing all of them. They've done that before. Um, but that is kind of odd that they focus so much on old skins. Anyways, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. But this is actually kind of interesting. Season one Twitch drops earn rewards for watching your favorite Overwatch 2 Twitch streamers. Um, I feel like they didn't change the title on this one. I, I thought that was the title of the old one, but this is new. It's been nearly three weeks since season one dropped, and we've welcomed 20 million players to Overwatch 2 in the meantime. Or sorry, in the time between. I guess same thing. My brain just sometimes overrides things because it thinks it sounds better. This season has introduced new heroes, maps, cosmetics, and we want to keep the fun going with Twitch drops throughout the rest of the season. Wait, what? Okay, all right, I'm with it. We just completed our campaign for Kitiko drops including a new legendary skin and millions of drops have been given away to players worldwide. The response has been so huge that we're bringing in more drops for everyone to collect. Starting tomorrow, October 25th at 11 a.m. PST or 2 p.m. EST through November 6th at 11 a.m. PST or 2 p.m. EST, players will have the chance to collect the werewolf spray and legendary skin for Winston in the Halloween Terror Collection. Uh, this is probably the best Winston skin other than the London Spitfire one, strictly because the gun is so small, it, you get more, like, screen space because you don't have to worry too much about aiming. And it's better to have, like, a better view of the screen, which is good. You'll need to watch two hours for the werewolf spray, and then another four hours for a total of six hours to earn the werewolf Winston legendary skin. We hope you have a howling good time as you watch your favorite creators take on the Bride of Junkenstein, or continue to climb the ranks of competitive play. I wonder if we can go for rank one tomorrow. Also, because Retro will probably make this into a short. Uh, if you want to get this spray, uh, if you want to get this spray and this skin, twitch.tv slash flats, I'll have drops. Anyways, uh, good luck with that one, Retro. Um, I wonder if we can try, I'm going to ask Seagull and Emong if they want to go for rank one tomorrow. That'd be cool. Uh, oh, wait a minute. They're not done yet. Wait. 
We're not done yet, because we're ri raising a toast to celebrate the inaugural season of Overwatch 2. We'll also have two brand new rewards to give away as drops starting on Thursday, November 15th. Cheer on our favorite creators as they fight for glory as you earn the Reinhardt mug souvenir after two hours of watch time. Your continued support will earn the Brig Kitten Weapon Charm after three more hours of watch time. Wait! What is that? Okay, so it doesn't say a time yet, but starting on Thursday, November 15th, you can get this, uh, the mug collection souvenir and this charm. I ain't gonna lie. Charm kind of cute. Kind of cute. To participate... Oh, this is actually kind of important for the rest of it. To participate, you must link your Twitch account at Bal... Wait. Wait, wait. I'm dumb. To participate, you must link your Twitch account at account.battle.net connection. So... On Twitch, you can link your accounts, uh, like you can link your Battle.net account to Twitch. This is the opposite. This is net linking your Battle.net account to Twi or Twitch, or your, sorry, I said that wrong. That's linking your Twitch account to your Battle.net account. So instead of going th through the Twitch connections tab, you need to go through the Battle.net connections tab. I'll say that one more time because that went over. So instead of linking it on the Twitch connections tab, you need to link it on the Battle.net Connections tab. If you don't do this, it will not work. If you've changed your password or made any other changes to either account, you will need to relink your account. When you relink, there will be a seven-day cooldown before you can relink a new Twitch account. Ooh. After you claimed your rewards on Twitch, please make sure you're logging into the region you'd like to receive drops on. That's interesting. That's new. As the first region you log into will be where we deliver your items. It can take up to 24 hours to receive your rewards in-game after claiming. More information on earning or claiming Twitch drops can be found here. I'm not going over those because that's pretty basic. All right. So that's cool. So drops again tomorrow. That's kind of nuts. Bruh, if you already have the werewolf skin, they should give you another Halloween skin instead to be more fair. Don't disagree. Counterpoint. Um, there's... They said that there was 25 million players in the first 10 days. Um, so that would really make no sense because what would happen is... Let's say you already earned the this, this, this skin. And then you got the cool new skin. New players who come in are going to be like, I don't want the old dog shit skin. I want the new one too. So then you end up having to give both of them away. What this appears to be in my opinion, is they saw how valuable Twitch drops is in increasing their viewership, increasing new streamers coming in, increasing the amount of players they have playing their game. They probably realized that and went, oh my God, we should have those more often. Um, but they can't just immediately pivot and take like one of the items that were going to be in the shop. Because right now we only saw two skins. So if there's only two items in the shop, then hmm, there was only two to deal with. So they're probably taking one of the older skins because don't forget, there's not just old Overwatch 1 players that play Overwatch 2 now. There's now an entire new audience. How can I prove that to you? Have you looked at TikTok? You have all this new generation of Overwatch players who think like Moira's OP and shit, and they think like Arissa's OP, and it's like they have no fucking clue what they're doing, but they are new players, and they shouldn't be treated that much differently, other than their opinions kind of suck. Um, the point is, they might not have this skin, so... It's a cool opportunity for them to get stuff that maybe was locked behind Overwatch 1 um, and have it with the rest of the Overwatch 1 players for themselves now and have a cool legendary skin because don't forget, it's not like Overwatch 1 anymore. A lot of the new players aren't going to have many skins because everything's in the free-to-play model now. So there's a, yeah, there's, a, there's a bit of balance to be had here. So I don't disagree with you. Um, however, looking at the bigger picture here, I think the options on the table looked like they were either going to be you give away something from the Halloween set, which was probably not going to happen, or two, uh, they give away one of the older skins, keep drops rolling because there's a lot of new players, so there's a lot of people that were going to enjoy and like that, or they give nothing, you know? That's at least how I read the situation, so uh, it's kind of like a take it or leave it. If you already have it, great. Um, it's not like you lost anything. Uh, if you don't have it, then you get it for free. So, 
Last up, though, follow, follow us into the shadows. Overwatch 2 Halloween Terror is back. Okay, so I'm sure this is where we're going to find out about the new uh, mode, or mo new uh, mode, right? It's time to celebrate another year of fear. Halloween Terror is returning to Overwatch. Get ready for a shock, because this event introduces the next chapter in the saga of the devious Dr. Junkenstein through our all-new, limited-time co-op mission, Junkenstein's Revenge, Wrath of the Bride. Okay, so there is an completely new mission. Return to Aldersburn, Al Aldersburn alongside four fresh faces to experience an all-new story as the Bride of Junkenstein. Oh, never mind. Well, that wasn't the end of the sentence. Uh, seeks revenge upon those responsible for the death of her creator. As we near the anniversary of the Mad Doctor's revenge, learn more about this year's event directly from the desk of the Lord of Aldersburn. Okay, we already seen that before. Um, we already read that. Complete challenges to unlock special rewards like the Nightfall over Aldersburn name card, the Jackal Lantern weapon charm. Wait, that sounds pretty cool. I hope we see that. Battle Pass XP and other spine tingling rewards. Dr. Junkenstein himself will also be making a grand reappearance in the original Junkenstein's Revenge co op brawl, returning for a limited time on Halloween Terror 2022. So that, that's the old version, the old one that we all have played 40 fucking times. Um, from October 25th until November 9th, join your fellow heroes to confront a host of haunting horrors as you seek to safeguard Eichenwald. Or fall to the bride's retribution. Alongside with the haunting holidays, we are running a double XP weekend starting on October 28th through October 31st. So another double XP weekend, Pog, as the follow as we follow through on our promise from launch week. All players who log into Overwatch 2 from the start of the Halloween Terror event through the end of Season 1 will also receive the cursed Captain Reaper legendary skin and a health pack weapon charm. Wait, so. You know what's funny though, the, you know the cursed Captain Reaper probably was another skin that was going to go in the shop, but they gave it out for free because of the uh, the errors at launch. What if that was actually supposed to be the original Twitch drop, but then they gave it to everyone for free so they had to replace the Twitch drop with the Winston skin. So they already had planned ahead on giving one away, but they had to give it away because of the uh, the problems from beforehand. And the health pack weapon charm. Uh, because a charm and a skin, that's thats pretty much their Twitch drop design, it seems. Of course, it doesn't stop there. Earn the Werewolf Winston item skin while watching your favorite Wars 2 creators and other rewards through crashing, crushing special Junkenstein challenges throughout the Halloween Terror. Uh, goes from October 25th through October 9th. Face the Wrath of the Bride if you dare. Dun, dun, dun. Not bad. Uh, I'm excited to see what it looks like tomorrow. Uh, I think it'll be fun. Hopefully, the new event looks cool. Uh, if the event is fun, I want to see if I can go for rank one um, with Imong Siegel, and we'll probably find someone else, maybe like Jay or somebody, uh, and then we'll go hard. 